Good morning, everybody. Morning. The United Kingdom will vote in favor of the Egyptian uh, text on Jerusalem because it is in line with our longstanding position on Jerusalem. Uh, it is in line with previous uh, Security Council resolutions. Uh, and uh, we uh, call on all parties uh, to renew efforts uh, in favor of a long and sustained and a sustainable peace uh, in the Middle East. Uh, we also call on all political leaders uh, to encourage everyone to refrain from violence. Uh, it is only in a peaceful uh, situation that the chances of peace uh, will be maximized. Ambassador, what will the U.S. veto? What message will that send? Well, the U.S. can speak for themselves that they will be uh, vetoing this text because it is not in line with their own position. As you know, the U.K. has a different position on Jerusalem. Our view is that uh, the issue of Jerusalem uh, is a final status issue, uh, that uh, Jerusalem should be a shared uh, capital for Israelis uh, and for Palestinians, uh, and the uh, U.K. embassy for now will remain in Tel Aviv. Ambassador, what do you think about the, credi the credibility of the Security Council at this time? Do you think if the United States they use the veto how the other country would they look to the Security Council? The, the Security Council by itself cannot respect its own resolutions. Well, the United States will continue to play an extremely important role in the search for peace uh, in the Middle East. Uh, we commend uh, President Trump for his uh, uh, efforts and energy in that direction, and we call on uh, the U.S. administration to put forward concrete, detailed proposals as soon as possible to take that process forward. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right.